South Korean Central Bank to Speed Up CBDC Project. Tim Alper last updated, April 17, 2024 at 6, GMT plus 3 two-minute read. The South Korean Central Bank is set to speed up its CBDC project and will pilot its digital KRW with a group of 100,000 citizens later this year. According to Newsway, the Bank of Korea BOK will test digital KRW usability and deposit functions with the group at the end of 2024. South Korean Central Bank eyes real-world tests in Q4. In October last year, the BOK announced plans to launch CBDC usability tests with the nation's top regulators, the Financial Services Commission, and the Financial Supervisory Service. Lawmakers have also created a law that differentiates between CBDC and crypt assets like Bitcoin BTC. The bank has unveiled plans to build a pilot CBDC network. This network will issue and distribute three types of tokens based on institutional CBDC models. The plans will see the BOK issue and distribute deposit-style tokens and e-money tokens. The bank said the launch would come in the fourth quarter of the year. Real-time tests to start in 2024. The bank added that it will perform real-time transaction tests with ordinary citizens. It wants test subjects to pilot using the CBDC in commercial settings. However, many critics claim that a South Korean CBDC launch could damage the country's burgeoning fintech and banking sectors. Seo Jiayong, a professor of business administration at Samyang University, said that CBDC commercialization will take time in South Korea. CEO added that as the CBDC project becomes more concrete, there was a possibility that private companies will prepare corresponding projects. Indeed, some firms have been doing exactly that. Some of the nation's biggest tech firms and banks began CBDC operations several years ago. CEO said, the digital KRW is still in the pilot stage, so we have to wait and see how the private sector responds. A BOK official explained that as existing card transactions incur fees, merchants can reduce fees by using the CBDC. Retailers the winners of CBDC debut. Similar sentiments have been expressed in other nations currently fast-tracking their CBDC projects. In Russia, financial analysts have claimed that the domestic retail sector would likely be the only notable winner. The banking sector, the analysts claimed, could be in line to lose $536 million per year if the digital ruble is adopted. But the BOK official moved to reassure the private sector that it was not aiming to encroach on their business sectors. The spokesperson said, rather than posing a risk to other existing industries, the commercialization of CBDC will provide new innovative services. It can serve as an opportunity for industrial development. Follow us on Google News.